Hey guys, we're at the end of our trip. <laughs> but uh, we made our last stop here at Stovall Mill Covered Bridge. It was an old mill from like the 1800s and there um, they had a covered bridge and the bridge was also featured in a movie back in 1951 called I Climbed the Highest Mountain. Um, so we're here to explore and take a couple pictures. Yep. Somebody told us this was a cool spot to come and check out. Yes. Emily, we were shouting out, she told us to come out here, and this covered bridge is just outside of Salty Nakuchi. Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> just outside of Salty Nakuchi and Helen, Georgia. So uh, if you want to come back out here and just, you know, relax by the river on this covered bridge, come by and check it out. It's, again, right outside of Salty Nakuchi. You can't miss it. All right, guys, that was Helen, Georgia, along with Anna Ruby Falls, Brasstown Ball, and High Shoal Creeks Falls. We had a blast out there. Um, one thing to keep in mind, it is a tourist destination, so it's going to be a little bit more pricey uh, because of all the different things you can do out there. And they have a lot of festivals and uh, different events out there. Yeah, um, they have a lot of events like throughout the year. Uh, just to name a couple, they have a hot air balloon race in the summertime around uh, the end of May, beginning of June, and then of course Oktoberfest because <laughs> mm -hmm. it is a, a German themed area. And there's also tubing in the summertime and also um, in 2018, look forward to the mountain coaster, we'll definitely be there. <laughs> <laughs> so. but, um, you can definitely go to HelenGA.org to find um, like dates for different events and things like that. So you can see if there's one happening, you know, when you plan your trip. Exactly. So we'll have that in the description. But along with the different events, there's a ton of things to do throughout the year. They, uh, Helen has a whole bunch of shops like fudgeries. There's different places to eat. Um, there's um, like a place we visited was the glass blowing shop. And um, they even do like little demonstrations of them uh, creating something. And you can get things personalized as well. So they sell little things, um, including mystery boxes. And I got a mystery box. What's in the box? I got a $5 mystery box. And so I'm going to open it. And they have different um, boxes. They have bigger boxes that are a little more. Um, they have even ones in little bags that um, that are as cheap as about like a dollar a dollar fifty or something like that so they all have little different little things that they no longer sell on the shelf or on display anymore um, so they are discounted um, things that um, may be a little rare so, see what she got, see what I got. It's very light I was like is there anything in this box <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a necklace. Oh, that's a beautiful. It's a little necklace. It's a little necklace with a heart and it says mom. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But that's really nice. It's kind of sweet. Um, for you know some of you most of you don't know, but I lost my mother a couple years ago, so this is really sweet. You know, keep this in remembrance of her. Awesome, awesome. Well, um, enough of Helen. Um, Oh, and if you're looking for good Mexican, shout out to La Cabana Mexican yeah. Restaurant. Um, it really, that, that was the best place in my opinion, the best restaurant that we went to. Exactly, so. exactly. It was pricey, but it was well worth the price. Yeah. Um, but enough of Helen. Um, some things to keep in mind. If you're going down a dirt road, first of all, know where you're going. Know the maps so that way you don't get lost. Um, make sure your car is in good condition, but if you have to go down a dirt road, do not, I repeat, do not go down there with a sedan. Go down there with an SUV, a pickup truck, anything other than a sedan. Uh, if you love your car, it, it wouldn't be a good idea to go down there with a sedan because you can damage something. I don't think we damage anything on our car, but it is definitely risky. Um, got a few scratches. <laughs> yeah, definitely got a few scratches, uh, but... Uh, very uh, dangerous and if you're very squeamish those roads are like this oh, narrow yeah. that's what I was about to say the the roads are narrow um, and you're going up a mountain so it's like this side is like drop off straight drop down. 
and the road was not paved and so there was a lot of different um, holes in the road and big like crevices like crevices that like your tire can get stuck in this and we're driving our little car <laughs> down this road so it was uh, it was either go that way the long way on this dirt road or the short way on this dirt road was you had to drive through the creek <laughs> Right? And that's another reason why I need to bring an SUV because I was not going to drive that car through that creek and not damage about everything. To risk that, I cannot so. afford that. I don't have the YouTube money yet. Yeah. <laughs> we saw us, uh, an SUV go through there and their car still smoked up a little. So we were like, we're not going to yeah, not risk that. that. So mm -hmm. we went the long way. Yes. Yeah, so just keep that in mind when you're going, and, and to be specific, when you're going high shoals. Falls. Yes. That's the dirt road area. Yeah. Um, and don't listen to Google because Google don't know where she's going. She sent us down this other little narrow road where you cannot turn around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had to back out a long way. Exactly. We had to figure it out ourselves, but we, we got there eventually. Yeah. Um. So keep things to keep in mind. Uh. When you're hiking, be prepared. Like we always say, bring water. Be prepared. Dress appropriate. Um. Unless you're camping. Do not be out there at dusk and dawn yeah. uh, because uh, you never know what's going to happen out there. It's not as monitored out there, say, as like Ivy Creek Greenway. Mm -hmm. So anything could happen. Be safe. Be smart. But have fun. Yes. Um, you, you're going to love the destination. And um, before we go, we want to give a shout out to Emily Burton. Yeah. She is very familiar with, uh, familiar with the Helen area. So she gave us little uh, ideas and places to go to. So we're going to link her down in the uh, yeah. description. Fellow YouTuber. Yeah, fellow YouTuber. So subscribe to her. Check her out. She's a lifestyle vlogger. You're going to love her. She's very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have anything else to say. You guys have been awesome. Please subscribe. We love you guys. Goodbye. Please like and share our video. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,